How you feeling, second at the Olympia? I feel great, man. I feel happy. Uh, definitely exceeded my own expectations. Going into the show, I'm very conservative, and, and I'm, I feel like I'm pretty realistic with with myself and you know where I am in the sport right now. I thought third to fifth, and um, I ended up edging out Breon um, just barely. Um, so it was really close, um, but yeah, just barely edging them out at the, at the finals um, to get to that second place spot. So man, I, I can't complain. You know, top of the world. What were you thinking when you were when you were up there? Like, what's going through your head when you're on stage? I don't know, my head's pretty, pretty blank. Just do do what I'm supposed to do. Do you have like myself. nerves or anything? Um, no, no, I'm pretty comfortable on stage. Um, no, I'm very comfortable. The only time I get a bit nervous is is I well, I don't get, I don't I don't even get nervous anymore. I get anxious. I'm get I'm ready to get up there and do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. So waiting back, like waiting, because we were supposed to go first, then they moved us to last. So um, just waiting to get on stage was the biggest challenge for me. <laughs> like, oh man, I gotta wait for bikini, and these bodybuilders is gonna take a whole extra like two hours, so yeah. I gotta sit around. But um, yeah, that's, I don't, yeah, I haven't been nervous in a long time. I've only been nervous when I've taken time off from competing. So like the, the year I took off and coming back, because I'm like, man, I've been away for so long, and then, um, the other year I took off um, when I first turned pro. So besides that, no, no, no nerves. Are you like looking for your people in the crowd or anything? I look for a second. I normally hear, I always hear my mom <laughs> scream at just because her voice is so recognizable. Yeah. I'll hear other people sometimes, but I may not recognize who they are. Right. But uh, no, nah, I definitely hear her and I always can tell. I don't never. I've never seen her, but I always can tell the area, and I'll point to yeah. that area. Yeah. And um, does it gas you up when you hear people calling you? It just made. It, yeah, it makes me smile. Yes, I good. like it. Um, yeah, this one dude who was a little, it was a little bit too much. This one guy, he was like, "Look at Terrence, look at him." And I was like, "Oh my god, dude!" Like, he made me a little bit uncomfortable. I was like, hey, "Oh my gosh, yeah." And uh, but ninety nine percent of the time is is really cool. Yeah. Um, what were you thinking when Brian was putting his hand in your face? <laughs> yo, I, I was like, yo, what is this guy doing? I, I mean, yeah, he was, yeah, I don't know. He was just, he, Brian was in his own little zone at that point. And, um, I, I don't think, I don't think anyone really liked that when he was doing that. I think mm -hmm. he was a little bit too much. Yeah. Um, but you know we all get competitive and sometimes people get a little bit too into it and um you know Brian's overall overall a cool dude so it didn't really bother me after for that unless it didn't bother me further than that one second i'm like what in the world is happening yeah obviously your posing routine is like structured and you planned it out and you've been practicing that right but like mm -hmm. when they call for a pose down and you got to come out to the front of the stage and you do your thing right like do you have a strategy for that no not anymore i mean it's just they've already just to show that just most of it's just for fun and for the fans um i know back in the day you know i'm a fan of like history and listening to guys and i know arnold and franco talk about oh if he hits this pose i'm gonna hit this pose i'm i'm imagining i, I don't know all the rules back then but i'm imagining they maybe judged they were still judging at that point mm -hmm. for them to have that type of strategy but um for us they're not doing it they're 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 compiling the votes and they're, they're passing it up to the to the announcer by that point so it's really just for fun so i'll go try to get some pictures with the, the dudes i like so we can have pictures for later like i took one with chris um finally i remember him asking me four years ago for like a most muscular shot mm -hmm. he asked me again this time and i finally said all right let's do it and um no nah, that's probably one of my favorite shots of the show um so no nah, no game plan just enjoy enjoy the moment yeah so it's kind of like a fun thing mm-hmm mm. What did you think when Bob Chick said that that was one of the best posing routines you'd ever seen? This is the stage to do it. He says it all the time now. I mean, it's pretty cool. I actually, every time I, I still do appreciate it because Bob has been around for so long. He's a veteran. He's been he's been seeing bodybuilding for 
man, uh, 30, at least 30 years now he's been in the sport, seeing different athletes compete. So, I mean, um, no, nah, it's definitely a huge compliment. Even listening to the the live stream with uh, um, Dennis Shane talk, saying they, like, I'm com they were, my routine was comparable to Lita Brada's. They said they got Lita Brada vibes. This reminds me, the posing kind of reminds me of a Lila Brada. Yeah. Take you back to that 1988 yes. Olympia. And that's exactly what they're looking for when it comes to classic. And um, that was really, really um, nice here because he's my favorite mm -hmm. ever. <laughs> so, so that's always cool. And it's pretty funny that they saw that influence um, in there. Um, they could just, it was just so identifiable for them. So, uh, yeah. Do you feel good about your posing routine? Yeah, um, I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, one of my favorites so far. Uh, the song choice was definitely one of my favorites. I mean, I like I like every song that I choose. Um, this one was just I felt I felt like it was a really good option, really really good choice. Um, it reminded me a lot of the the Survivor routine because it's an older song, remixed, same type of. Um, style of music same type of like uh same type of a lot of stuff i mean it's a little different because i guess destiny child is a little bit newer than uh europe the guys that seen um final countdown but both very popular and you know iconic songs for sure mm -hmm. yeah. so you got second what's did you did you get feedback from the judges like now, yeah, I've been playing on it. The only one I talked to so far is Tim Gardner. Mm -hmm. I love Tim. Tim's a really nice guy. Um, he's been he's really really nice. He loves bodybuilding. Um, and the reason I talked to him is just because, uh, you know, he's close. He lives in Florida. I, I've been I've been seeing him since I started. I've done uh, my first pro win was his show. So I just feel a bit more connected with him. You know, seeing him around Florida a lot more often than the other guys. I guarantee you someone in New York is probably going to talk to Steve before Tim or someone from somebody that's going to talk to somewhere else. So mm -hmm. um, Tim told me, don't change a thing. <laughs> he said, just make sure you keep your waist tight. That's my biggest strength. And to, uh, yeah, he didn't really have anything to say. <laughs> so I was like, I'm like, uh, he's, I'm, because I told him, I was like, yeah, I still got a lot of work. He was like, yeah, I don't know, man. You look pretty good. I was like, okay. Well, I'm not good enough to, in my mind, I didn't tell him this, but I'm like, I'm not good enough to be Chris yet. So there's something I need to do better. Mm -hmm. So um, I just told him, yeah, I want to, you know, put some size, a little bit more size on. But I told him that I do want to improve on my midsection as well. Um, more, more direct ad work. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't do a whole lot. Uh, but just focus a bit more on that. More, more vacuums in the morning. More, um, like just ad like crunches and stuff. Um, just to be able to contract certain stuff better. I have a hard time flexing my obliques, uh, my my serratus. So um, just focusing on that. It's just, it's just no secret to that. It's just repetition and consistency. So something I need to pay a little bit more attention to. I mean, yeah. Okay. So then your idea of what you want to improve on moving into next year's Olympia would be that ab work. Anything else? Um... A lot of, I mean, this is, I still got a bit more size I can put on, but I also want to make sure I'm, I'm covering all my bases. So yeah, definitely um, mid sets of control and a bit more flexibility in certain areas. I want to be able to rotate my torso more in my top poses, bring my arms back a bit further. In these, I'm a little bit um, stiff up top. People always, they always think I'm pretty flexible. I am from my lower body down, but my upper body is really, really tight. So um, a lot of, a lot of stretching, a lot of yoga I want to do. Um, just make sure I'm like healthy all around. I know guys like um, Jay Culler, he, he said at his best, he was doing like massage work four times a week. I don't know if I can afford massage work four times a week because it'd be very expensive. That's a whole car note. But um, I do have like one of those massage guns so I can do my side. I do what I can. I always tell people like, yo, you do what you can. Like when I was younger, I couldn't afford any massages. So I would just make sure I stretched every day, make sure I foam rolled every day. Well, now that I can get a massage guy at least once a week, then I, you know, I do that. Um, so, you know, you take it by steps, you do what you can, you know, with what you got. So, um, that's kind of the plan there. What do you think about next year? You think if you make the improvements, you got this? I think it's possible for sure. I think I definitely can push Chris a lot harder. 
Um, I can't really say how to go. It's always up to the judges. Right. You know? I didn't. I mean, and I always tell people like, thinking you're gonna win doesn't mean you're gonna win. I'm obviously Brian thought he was gonna beat me last like, like, yeah. this weekend. It didn't happen. <laughs> so I mean, I'm no matter what, I, you know, like I'm always conservative with my my predictions. So you know, no matter what, I'm gonna put in the work and do my best to bring my best. And if my best is good enough, then you know that's awesome. Um. I do definitely believe I can beat Chris. I don't know if I can beat him within the year, um, within this next year, but I know it's possible. I always like to say, yeah, I think I think it'll take me two. Um, but if it happens in a year, that's fine too. I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How much more do you think he can improve? He can improve. I have no idea. He really impressed me this yeah. year with the improvements he made. Just to be honest, yeah. um, with his with his arms and his back, especially his back. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, very, very good improvements. Um, I'm not sure how much more he can. It's, it's really tough to say. Mm -hmm. um, I'm always I'm always wrong guessing when people can. I was right about Breon. I, I I said a while back, like, Breon, what he brought is pretty much what he's got now with his weight limit and stuff. I'm not sure how close Chris is to the weight limit, which is a huge factor. Um, but, um, like, like, for instance, I thought Sean couldn't get any better. I keep saying... Sean Carita kept getting better until he won the Miss Olympia. So it's tough to say. It's tough to, I can't. It's tough to say how good Chris can be. Um, for sure, for sure. Are you? So I mean, you, you know, we're talking classic physique here. So are you worried at all about like maybe putting on too much size in a certain area or making something out of balance with the rest of your physique? I'm not worried just because me and Joe are really good at programming with our training. Like I, I'm not gonna accidentally get something too big. Uh, my my legs are pretty much what my hand, my quads are pretty much what I need to be, and it's it was, I haven't grown them in the past couple of years. Um, we only do two to maybe three working sets to keep them where they are. So we're pretty good at maintaining stuff. Um, I don't think the stuff I want to bring up they could be too big. Like I don't think my arms I would. I don't think I ever get to a point where the people are like, oh, his arms are too big, you know? Um, and I do want to grow my hamstrings. And looking at Breon and Chris, they have much bigger hamstrings than me. So I don't, I'm not really worried about that being too big either. So um, there's no real body parts I need to improve that I'm worried about um, that would cause me to do worse in the class. Yeah. The only thing I have to make, like I said, like, like Tim told me, the only thing I have to make sure I do is just keep my waist and my midsection tight. Mm -hmm. And um, we haven't had any issues with that, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I mean, any final thoughts on the Olympia? How was your weekend? Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Um, honestly, this whole Olympia weekend, man, it was great. Uh, you know, from watching, you know, Dex compete for the last, Dexter Jackson compete for the last time. The guy who, I, the first bodybuilder I ever saw, I picked up a magazine, he was on the cover. Um, you know, we kind of, I got, got to know him. My cousin went to college with his daughter, so I got a little bit closer to their family. And um, he was the best man. My cousin was the best man at his at his uh, daughter's wedding. So, you know, seeing that, and then, um, yeah, it was really sad to see him go. It's really tough to see him go, uh, <laughs> to be honest with you. You know, before classic was a thing, you know, I turned pro in bodybuilding, and I thought one day I'll be on stage you know, next to him one day. That, that didn't necessarily happen, but I have, you know, I've gotten to compete at the same shows as him, and I think that's still pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so seeing that, seeing Big Rowling become the champion, dude is very, very nice guy, very humble guy, really, really awesome, man. He's been competing for a while, learned English, you know, hardworking guy. Um, you know, seeing... Uh, you know, uh, obviously with myself. Uh, oh, Sean Carita. Sean Carita won the title. Was a big fan of his before I even turned pro. Um, seeing him climb a range from like 115 pounds to being 170 pounds, placing last at bodybuilding shows to winning the Olympia when nobody, including myself, I was a fan of his, but I'll, I'll be honest, I never thought he would be the champ. I can't, I never did. And like I said, it doesn't matter what other people think. People always ask me to do you think I could be a pro? Do you think I could do this? I'm like, don't, don't base your, your moves on what I say. <laughs> do it. Believe in yourself. You know, as long as you believe in yourself, that's all that matters. And Sean did, and he made it happen. And honestly, man, that, that was probably 
that made me almost as happy as it was to see me place in second today, like seeing him win and seeing his success. Um, and then obviously myself, yeah, I was happy after free judging. I was happy with honestly placing third because I'm like, I just want to do better than my last time out. That was a win for me. Um, you know, <laughs> I was thinking third to fifth, you know, and not the pre and it was a solid third. I was like, oh, wow, okay, well, I did the top of my expectations. <laughs> and then they called Breon's name, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> and, um, you know, this weekend was amazing. I mean, it was in Orlando. Everything's smooth. My family got to drive. My friends could be here. My 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 coaches all were here. They were all supportive, and you know I couldn't ask for anything more um, for this weekend for sure. Yeah. Awesome. Mama Diesel, how do you feel about your son <laughs> placing placing second? Well, you just turned the second camera. in the world. I am I am very proud of him. I'm very proud of his um, accomplishments. Um, that he made, and um, yeah, I am I'm very proud of words can they express, and you know the way that I feel towards him and his accomplishment. What did and you I'm, think about that posing routine? I really, really liked it. You were impressed <laughs> by that, right? Yeah. <laughs> he, he he always surprises me by the song he chooses, and um, that you know he's with this particular one he also surprised me with the uh, song choice as well and the routine was um you could tell that he really practiced on it really put a lot of thought in it and it was very well executed as usual mr ruffin <laughs> <laughs> you know real quick um i shout out to my mom she She's always been supportive. People always ask because I there are people out there that their parents aren't supportive, and it uh, it's got to be hard for them. And uh, you know, she was the first. She, I, I remember coming home from uh, training military. I, like I was still going through training in the military. I found about bodybuilding. And I came home. I told her about it, and f from the very start, she was very supportive. She took my first progress pictures. I still got a few of them. I will post every now and again. Um, in, in my little hallway in our, in our house in Beatrice, Alabama. And, um, yeah, she's been to 99% of my shows, driven, you know, 12, 12 plus hours to come to events, you know, spent money, um, on, come flying out and everything and, uh, getting hotels and, yeah, yeah, I couldn't ask for a better mom. So, yeah. That was sweet. Write a letter. Huh? Write a letter. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, you like a black no, rug. No, oh. go over here to the other side. Like, I thought we were going to say, well, we introducing us <laughs> like that. Uh -huh. I had no idea you were going to put it over there <laughs> in my face. We can introduce you if I you had. want. No, it's too late. <laughs> it's too late now. Everybody already knows Mama Diesel. They've oh. seen you. Oh, this is the new, I, it's the new uh, rough diesel mom right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a lot different now too with her being in shows. It's kind of, it's kind of weird because I know I'm really busy. Um, because I remember the first couple shows I've done, you know, I was still new. No one really knew me, so I could do a show and then go hang out and be nothing. But now it's it's a lot more work after shows I have to do. I have, to, I have like you know hundreds of people coming up to me wanting to take pictures right after the show so I and then I have photo shoots the next day so really like it's really just work um and I don't I really don't mind I enjoy it but it's not like a most people you know amateurs they do a show they go they go hang out with their friends after the show they go eat they go do whatever but you know for me I get off stage you know I got off stage uh, at the, after the Olympia, I had an interview. I had two interviews to do right backstage. I um, I had to speak with uh, different important people right you know right after I got off stage. Um, I come out from the back and then everyone's out there waiting, wanting to take pictures. So you know I do that. And like I said, I don't mind it because I know I've been there, and you know they don't they get this one chance out of the year to see me, and I'm like if I don't do this now, they'll never they won't get a chance till next year, you know, so I, 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 you know, I appreciate these guys coming out supporting and, you know, I, I like to do what I can to, you know, make their evening better because I've been there. I've had pros, I, I've had pros, you know, um, 
blow me off or whatever, and it, it sucks. <laughs> it really sucks. Um, and I always hear it too. So I, you know, I do my best to, to you know, to put myself in their shoes. You know, I may be a some sometimes a little tired or whatnot, but like I say, it's it's literally you you're competing for a day. So it's a suck it up for a day. If you're tired, you do you know you do the work, and then you go hang out. You know, a couple of days later, you go chill the next day, and it's fine. Yeah. And family understands that. Yeah, I always feel bad you know, though, but she like, she's getting better. You're getting better with it, I guess. Yeah. Like, she sees I'm talking to fans. She's like, all right, I'm gonna go to bed now. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's late. It's like midnight when one o'clock midnight when he shows in, and yeah, it's late. So Look, I did that this time. Yeah, I normally wait till we walk out together. It's fine. I didn't blame and you. I was like, I was exhausted. Yeah, she's good. She's like, all right, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll do something tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. And I'm totally fine with that because I'm I'm not. People always ask me now, what are you doing after the show? Or what are you eating after the show? Uh. I don't think I ate really anything after the night after the show. Um, I had a pizza. That was was it? That was yesterday, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, that was, that was yesterday. So I didn't really have anything after the show. I had a like half a cookie. It was a huge cookie, but half of those like cookies from my my client. I'm gonna shout out his cookie pharmacist, not not the other one. But um, I had that, and I went to bed. Um, I didn't have anything bad until the next day. I had a a pizza and the other half of the cookie and yeah yeah so uh, <laughs> that's the one thing that people so as a little a little back um a little insight to bodybuilding as a pro it's it's a lot it's a little different it's it's still fun but it's you got to kind of think of what you do more as a business and just be a little bit more mentally tough all the best guys that's how they do it any pro that's not doing well they don't they don't treat what they do as a business you look at Jay, you look at, at Chris Bumstead, you look at Brandon Curry, they're very, very meticulous with everything they do. And I always try to take notes on that, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. All right, well, Olympia guys, 2021. Olympia 2021. Yeah, number one, baby. <laughs> <laughs> number two. Number one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, 2021, 2021, number one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was right. Yeah. Oh Lord, I need some sleep. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's a wrap. Cool.